All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 29. And in this lesson, we are connecting division uh, by a unit fraction to division by tenths and hundredths in terms of decimals. So the idea would be we're relating this concept, five divided by one tenth, which our students are kind of comfortable with, and we're connecting that to five divided by 0 0.1, as in one tenth. Uh, so we're connecting, and that's the point of this lesson. So there is an algorithm, of course, that standard algorithm for how to divide. And we're not going to teach students that algorithm in this lesson. Uh, instead, we're going to be de developing number sense so that when we're finally teaching students the standard algorithm, it'll make more sense. So this is absolutely not the standard algorithm. It takes a lot of work. It's not a, the most efficient, but that's because it's not supposed to be. It's, it's like training wheels. It's supposed to be a developmental milestone on the way towards the standard algorithm, on the way towards, you know, taking off our training wheels. Okay, so we're going to begin by looking at three, just three. And this is a tenth, so that we could, if we wanted to, we could say 3.6 divided by one-tenth. And what we're going to do is we're going to break up this 3.6 into two parts. Let's just talk about the three. Well, how many tenths are in three holes? And by now, our students should know that there's 30 tenths in three holes because there's 10 tenths in one hole, so 10 times 3 is 30. All right, and we know that because I'm going to I'm going to do this over here. 3 times 10 gave us 30. Now, how many tenths are in 6 tenths? Well, that's kind of easy. How many tenths are in 6 tenths? And the answer is 6. So that means there's 36 tenths in 3.6. So the idea would be here, we don't have to multiply anything because we just use logic. So the idea would be, we have just learned that 3.6 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 36. We're going to just do another practice. And again, we're going to start with that 11.3 divided by, and this, I'm going to write it as a fraction. Now, oops, but that's not a tenth, that's a hundredth. There we go, hundredth. And so the question is, how many hundredths are in 11? Well, we know that there's a hundred hundredths in 1. So we would need to do 11 times 100 to figure out how many hundredths are in 11 holes. And of course, that answer is 1,100. So there's 1,100 hundredths in a hole, in 11 holes. And then, how many tenths, no, how many hundredths are in three tenths, all right? So we know that three tenths can be thought of as 30 hundredths. So three tenths is the same thing as 30 hundredths. So how many hundredths are in 30 hundredths? And the answer is 30. Or another way to say that would be how many hundredths are in 3 tenths? And the answer is still 30. So we could combine those and we get that there's 1,130 hundredths in 11.3. So if we wanted to write that out, we could say 11.3 divided by 1 hundredths is equal to 1,130. I'm going to just kind of practice more of the same, uh, only this time they've taken away some of our scaffolding. So we know that this is 7.2 divided by a tenth. So the first question is, how many tenths are in 7? And that answer is 70. And how many tenths, how many tenths are in 2 tenths? And the answer is 2. So the answer is 
72. So 7.2 divided by 1 tenth is equal to 72. Same thing, only this time we've got three parts. We've got we've got the whole numbers, we've got tenths, and we've got hundredths. But I think we might be able to mush all of these together into a single step. So I'm going to begin by writing it out as a fraction. So we've got 4.37. I'm going to leave that as a decimal. But now I'm going to think of this as one hundredth. All right. And so let's do this first part. So how many hundredths? are in 4. Well, 4 times 100 is 400. So 400. So that first part, the answer is 400. Plus, now, what is this? Well, that's 37 hundredths. So that's 37 hundredths. Well, how many hundredths are in 37 hundredths? The answer is 37. So our answer is 437. So 4.37 divided by 1 hundredth is equal to 437. Parents and teachers, remember, this is totally not the standard algorithm. Um, in fact, this is not the ultimate goal. This is merely a stepping stone towards the standard algorithm. So if you don't like this method, that's okay. Grin and bear it. Try and develop that number sense in our students on their way towards learning that standard algorithm. And our last problem for this video. So Geraldine solved a problem, and she solved this problem right here. She got 68.5 divided by a hundredth, and she got 6,850. Now Ralph is saying, wait, this has got to be wrong because your answer cannot be greater than the whole that you started with. We started with 68 and we ended up with 6,800. I'm just estimating here. How can you divide and get a bigger answer. That's got to be wrong, is what Ralph is saying. And then he even shows a couple of examples. Hey, you start off with an 8, you end up with a 4. You start with 250, you end with 50. See? Division always makes the answer get smaller. So is Ralph right, or is Geraldine right? I'm going to let you guys have this conversation and talk about why it's possible that you can start with a number and divide and yet end up with a larger number because it turns out Geraldine is right and Ralph while his math on his a couple examples that he showed are correct ultimately he's wrong you can end up with a quotient that is greater uh, and this right here is just such an example And that wraps up 5th grade, Module 4, Lesson 29, where we are connecting division by fractions with division by decimals.